Pigmented mucosal lesions include benign and malignant melanocytic proliferations, such as nevi and melanoma, but also non-melanocytic skin tumors. Moreover, non-proliferative entities may occur, the most frequent being benign melanosis. Melanosis are the most frequent pigmented lesions of the mucosa, also called mucosal melanotic macules, and are characterized by an increased pigmentation of the basal layer of epithelium. Mucosal melanoma is rare and represents 1-8% to of all melanomas, depending on different populations. But melanosis, the benign pigmentation of the mucosa, are frequent, and it is has been estimated that around 10% of women have a melanosis of a vulva. For this reason, dermatologists are often asked to give their advice for a pigmentation of the mucosa. The differential diagnosis between melanoma and melanosis is challenges, because melanosis can be heavily pigmented and can be large, asymmetric, with irregular borders mimicking melanoma. This presentation will focus on the differential diagnosis between melanoma and melanosis. Few studies have been conducted on the dermoscopic features of mucosal lesions, and they are mainly focused on the differential diagnosis between melanosis and melanoma. In these studies, few cases of melanoma have been examined. Why are there few studies? Because of three main reasons patient embarrassment, lack of adequate dermoscopic equipment, and rarity of mucosal melanoma. There has also been a confusion in terminology in mucoscopy because different names indicate the same pattern. The structureless pattern corresponds to homogeneous one. Lines can be parallel, reticular, and curved, and can have a fingerprint aspect. Circles are equivalent to the ring-like pattern. Clots are also called cobblestone-like pattern. Under dermoscopy, melanosis can present with parallel circular reticular structures or globular dotted pattern. The parallel pattern is mainly seen on the penny shaft and it is composed of linear or curved line. The circular pattern is mainly observed on the lips. The structural pattern shows diffuse homogeneous brown pigmentation with no additional dermoscopic criteria. Or labia maiora orifice of glands and hairs are spared, and the aspect is similar to the pseudonector of solar lentigon on the face. The globular like pattern is similar to globules of melanocytic lesions. Mucosal melanoma can show a multi component pattern uh, that is characterized by multiple patterns with a regular distribution. Parallel patterns and circles are rare in melanoma and are quite specific for melanosis, whereas the other dermoscopic pattern describing melanosis can also be found in melanoma. However, when they are found in melanoma, they are usually regular and combined. Melanoma is characterized by multiple colors, and the larger study on dermoscopic features of mucosal lesions has found that the presence of structurally gray, white, or blue areas is a clue for the diagnosis of mucosal melanoma. You can see here an anal melanoma with multiple colors and structureless gray and white areas. The presence of structurally gray, white, or blue areas has a high diagnostic accuracy for melanoma. However, it should be noticed that the study that found these criteria evaluated only 11 melanomas and only one in situ melanoma, and it is possible that some early melanomas could not exhibit this criteria and escape to this model. Mucosal melanoma can also show the criteria of cutaneous melanoma. In the clinical practice, we have to identify the dermoscopic aspect of melanosis and melanoma, but we should also consider the clinical features and the difficult cases, follow up biopsies, and reflect on confocal microscopy examination, if available, should be considered. There are some clinical clues that can help the differential diagnosis between melanoma and melanosis. Melanosis are never raised, whereas melanoma can be a papule or nodule. 
melanosis has a light to dark brown pigmentation and sometimes can be grey due to the presence of associated melanophages, where a melanoma is polychromatic. Melanosis are often multiple and bilateral, where a melanoma is often a solitary lesion. Moreover, a melanosis can involve multiple body sites. Melanosis are more prevalent in patients with higher skin phototypes. Moreover, they arise in younger patients. In summary, which are the differences between melanosis and melanoma? Melanosis are mainly multiple lesions, often bilateral, never palpable. They are mainly characterized by one dermoscopic pattern, parallel circular structures, reticular globular. They are no polychromic and are characterized by a brown and or gray color. Melanoma is usually a solitary lesion and unilateral, could be palpable. Under dermoscopy, it is characterized by the criteria of cutaneum melanoma, but uh, uh, and can also be characterized by a multi component pattern and polychromia. The presence of gray, blue, or white structures areas are a clue for the diagnosis.